Welcome back to the Bitcoin Digital Course. My name is Ryan Matta, and today we are going to dive into episode five, which is transaction IDs. So what is a transaction ID? Kind of self-explanatory. It's identical to a receipt. So you want to be able to track a Bitcoin transaction. And this is what's really, really awesome, because when you have your Bitcoin wallet address, this is the public address that you would share with somebody for them to actually send you Bitcoin, or if you're trying to withdraw your Bitcoin from an exchange and sending it to a wallet, you need your public wallet address. Now, at the time that you execute that transaction, you're going to be given what is called a transaction ID. This is a, a hash, which is just a long string of numbers that you can input to any Bitcoin block explorer, and you can actually track that transaction. So I believe it was in episode three, we were withdrawing our Bitcoin. But remember, we put the gas fee really low, so it was taking forever. I have no idea how long it took to actually send, but it's really unique as we can actually go and track that. So we're gonna jump over to the exchange that we were using. We were using Coinbase Pro. We're gonna go over on the left to take a look at our transaction tab. And you can see right here, it sent $25.52 of Bitcoin on December 1st of uh, 2024. So if I click that transaction, you can see it, it is sent to this wallet you can see the exact time. So it was 9.14 p.m. Wow. So we're actually going to go take a look at this on the Block Explorer. So if you click View Block Explorer, or if you just had this transaction hash, which is your transaction ID, you would actually be able to use that. But we're going to click the Block Explorer. And this is our hash ID. So you can see the hash ID, and we're on blockchain.com. A site I like to use is also called mempool.space, which we're going to do an entire episode on mempool.space, but I believe I can take that ID and boom, right there on mempool.space, it's going to pull up the exact transaction and you can see that the Bitcoin that I was uh, withdrawing, you can see I have one transaction going out. So out of Coinbase, they sent 1.91 Bitcoin and that was the one output or this was the one inputs and outputs. So they have one input, which was this address, which is the Bitcoin exchange address. And they withdrew to all of these addresses, all 21 on top of that. So it's pretty unique how cool that, that, that this actually happens. You can send one transaction. And in that one transaction, you can divide that transaction up between X amount of addresses, which is really unique. So in somewhere in here is our point are our $25 worth of Bitcoin. So we're probably one of the ones that's like 0.0000. This might be the smallest one in there. That might be us. So let's take a look back over at our transaction ID. <clears throat> so again, you're just looking for the hash function. But what's also unique about this is if I have the Bitcoin address, I can actually see the balance of my Bitcoin in that wallet address. So remember how in the previous episode in lesson four, I said, guys, listen, you can take your wallet and you can put it in a box. As long as you did what I told you to do, and you went to your notepad, which we can pull that up and take a look at, all you need is your actual wallet address. So if we go back into our travel wallet, it's right in our notepad, and we have this wallet address, I can copy this address. I can also come back over here to mempool.space. At the top of the website is the search bar. I can search, and boom. It's going to show right there the total Bitcoin balance in that wallet right now is $24.35. Why is that? Why isn't it $25? It's because the price of Bitcoin has changed. The quantity of Bitcoin is still 0 0.00025711. We take a look right here. You can see that 0 0.00025771. And the current balance of that address is right here. And the total amount is right here. And the total unconfirmed transactions, that's the only amount of Bitcoin that we've ever sent to that wallet. So this is why I tell you guys, when you guys just want to figure out how much Bitcoin's in your wallet, I don't actually need to go have my wallet. I don't need to have my hand in my wallet. All I need is that address. And then once that transaction is sent, I can use the transaction ID, which will be given to you by any exchange, any device you use, even on Blue Wallet, on your phone, you can go get the transaction ID. And that transaction ID is your timestamps. It tells you exactly at what time that Bitcoin was sent. Let's look at all of the information that we're actually given in one of these transaction IDs. So if we just go back over here to blockchain.com and we're, and we're looking at all of this stuff, you can see the exact hash number, 
which your hash number is 962. They also call it a hash ID, also known as a transaction ID. I know it's Bitcoin in the Bitcoin world. They have a lot of different terminology for a lot of the same things. Hash ID, transactions ID, or just plain old hash. And then you can see the position, exactly what position in the block it was. We were, it looks like 1,342. You can see the age, the exact amount of time since that transaction was sent. You can see how much Bitcoin they actually sent. The total value getting withdrew at that block was $180,000. And you can see the fee that the entire Bitcoin exchange to transfer all and withdraw all of those transactions was $4.70. All right, so we paid 52 cents of it and there was like 20 other transactions. So Coinbase is hands down making money hands over fist. And if you take a look at uh, an exchange like Bybit that I used, Bybit doesn't actually offer you the opportunity. I mean, I paid $16 today to withdraw Bitcoin from, Co from Bybit, which is insane. I cannot believe Bybit's withdrawal fees are that high for Bitcoin. It's pretty crazy, but they're pretty standard. Even when the market gets busy, it's still $16 on, on Bybit. So there are times where I guess Coinbase would be even more expensive and Bybit would be less, but I'm going to message their team and uh, they're normally pretty responsive about stuff like that. They normally don't strong arm you over at Bybit. Um, that's why I use Bybit because they're the absolute cheapest, best. They're my favorite exchange. Huge fan of, huge, huge fan of Bybit. I love Bybit. Um, looks like the Bitcoin withdrawal fees are the only thing that are, that are high. Everything else is the cheapest in the in entire industry. So check this out. Um, you can see the size of all these different transactions. Now, because it's wrapped into a bunch of different transactions, it's kind of hard, but you can see every other, every other address. You can see the exact price of Bitcoin. Um, so it had one input, which was one address that it was the Coinbase Pro wallet address. And then you have 33 different outputs where the addresses, we were one of those 33. Again, you can see the dollar value. Uh, you can see the exact time of that transaction was at 9, 15 and 32 seconds. You can see the exact block, right? So if I wanted to go to this block on the Bitcoin blockchain, block number eight, 80, uh, 875,821 and go see what was in that block, you could go right over to that block and you can see every single transaction all the way over here to 165 transactions or 165 pages of transactions. And you can see exactly every single transaction that was included in that block. You can see the gas fees they pay, paid. You can see the dollar quantity of the Bitcoin that was withdrawn. And we're going to get into that in the next episode. We're going to get into mempool.space. We're going to actually break down what is a blockchain. Because all a blockchain is, is just data, folks. It's just literally a ledger, like an Excel spreadsheet of every transaction that has taken place from the beginning of Bitcoin history. Very simple. Uh, but to make it less complicated, once you start to understand how a blockchain functions, you really start to go, oh my gosh, this thing is going to change the world. I can't believe I have not been paying attention to Bitcoin for this long. I need to work my ass off to acquire as much Bitcoin as humanly possible. So some of these episodes are just going to be short and sweet. Again, my name's Ryan Mata. You guys can support our work by becoming a paid member over on X. That's the best way to support us as an independent journalist and as a Bitcoin maximalist, a uh, freedom maximalist, and avid defender of these children. So if you have not had the opportunity to see either of my documentaries, What is Treason? Hashtag Trafficked, which specializes in or focuses on the government-funded child trafficking operation, adrenochroming, uh, organ harvesting, and what's being done to these poor children. The second film was op, uh, What is Treason? Hashtag Invaded, where we talk about the immigration crisis. And then the next one, which has been going mega viral, it's going viral in multiple countries, it's in English and Spanish, is Operation Amber Alert. And that really focuses on the funding and this machine that our government has built, this public-private partnership between the Mexican cartels and DHS and HHS and these NGOs. And that is how they've turned America into the child kidnapping capital of the world or child trafficking capital of the world and turned Guatemala into the child kidnapping capital of the world. And my next documentary, Operation Amber Alert, hashtag Guatemala, is going to be dropping in about 30 days. So today is December 22nd, Sunday, December 22nd. So by February, I don't know, first week of February, second week of February, you're going to see a documentary series that is going to blow your mind. When you see what our government has been doing in Guatemala, it'll make your blood boil, guys. God bless each and every one of you. Again, my name is Ryan Matt. You can support us on Locals. You can support us on Rumble. You can support us on X, but we're always going to be brought to you right here by you guys. And we don't have any sponsors, but we do have some affiliates. So you guys can use our affiliate codes. You guys can sign up for an exchange on Bybit 
which is my absolute favorite. Or you can also sign up for one on Coinbase. Both of those links will get you guys some free Bitcoin for signing up. God bless you guys. We sign it out. Peace.